All five of the suspects are male. The observer is female. Something's not right. Who gave you this lead? My assistant, Nick Saris. She got the information. Nick Saris gave me the information. Nick Saris, could I see you in here for a moment? Shepard, I'll talk to you later. Nick Saris had some interesting data hidden away. Thank you, Shepard. I wouldn't have caught her without you. I'm one step closer to the Shadow Broker thanks to you. Here. Nixeris was very well compensated. You need it more than I do. Did you have any trouble with Nixeris? She was very talented. I imagine that had she been ordered to assassinate me, I had never seen her coming. But her barriers needed practice. Practice I'm afraid she won't be getting. What's the next step in your hunt? Now I gather information, peel away layers of lies, and shine light into the shadows. And when I find the Shadow Broker, I hit him with a biotic field so strong that what's left of his body will fit into a coffee cup. Be careful out there, Liara. Don't turn into the thing you're hunting. Says the dead specter working for Cerberus. Don't worry, Shepard. I'm not my mother. Everything I'm doing, I'm doing of my own free will. For better or for worse. No. Is there anything else I can help you with? I'll talk to you later, Liara. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other Ilium contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and Niket are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lantea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I doubt Eclipse will send all their people just to stop you. Do you want to give Niket any backup? Niket can take care of himself. Besides, any armed backup just draws attention to him. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Damn it! Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. <laughs> hold fire! I said hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. Wait, Miranda, you said she was your twin sister. That what she told you? No, this crazy bitch kidnapped our boss's baby daughter. He's been looking for her for more than a decade. It's complicated, Shepard. We share the same DNA, just not the same birthday. You took a baby from the richest guy in the galaxy, lady. I don't know what your damage is, but you're not getting away with it. What do you mean, Niket won't be helping us? Nothing you need to worry about. Nobody's gonna get killed unless you do something stupid. 
You walk away now, the girl goes back to her father, and everybody's happy. Everybody but my sister. And me. Should we be talking to Captain Inyala about this? You don't want to talk to the Captain. She's not as... polite as I am. She's the best commando I've ever seen. I've seen her tear people in half with her biotics. And she's getting paid a lot to stop you. She gets in my way, she'll never have a chance to spend it. You're not getting Miranda's sister. If you push this, it'll go badly for you. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell on your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you want things to get... You die next! Hang on, I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Ariana is my twin, genetically. But my father grew her when I was a teenager. She was meant to replace me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So I rescued her. She's almost a woman now. Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Oriana. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Oriana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. If Eclipse knows where Oriana is, they'll be moving in on her soon. We need to hurry. Agreed. I'm a bit worried by what the Merc said. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Oriana. I hope your friend can be trusted. Absolutely. Niket is one of my oldest friends. I guess you could say he was my only real friend. He's the only person I didn't cut ties with when I left my father. Is there a chance your father could be using Niket to get to you? I'm sure he's tried, but Niket's one of the few people who understands what my father is really like. I trusted him with my life when I ran from my father, Shepard. He won't betray me now. Can you tell me anything about the cargo processing yard? We'll be moving through conveyor systems. There'll be a lot of movement. Finding targets won't be easy. We'll need to stay sharp. And these cargo transports carry hazardous materials. So watch what you shoot at. Let's go find Niket and Oriana. Right. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niket making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niket wouldn't do that. Damn it, why won't he go any faster? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Well, you know him, Miranda. If you don't think he'd betray you, then I'm sure there's another explanation. I don't know, damn it. But I guess we'll find out soon enough. And then I'll have a word with this Captain and Yala. Me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... This should be fun. Uh! 
Niket, you sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. How did Miranda's father turn you? They told me you kidnapped your baby sister all those years ago. They said I could help get her back peacefully. No trauma to the family. I told them you'd never do that. They could go to hell. Then you finally told me what you'd done. I called them back that night. Why didn't you call me, Niket? We've been through a lot. You could have at least let me explain. I deserve to know that you'd stolen your sister, Miri. I deserve to know you were with Cerberus. But I had to hear it from your father first. How much did Miranda's father pay you? A great deal. Damn it, Niket! You were the only one I trusted from that life. He knew you felt that way. That's why he bought me. So you just took his money? Don't get holy with me, Miri. You took his money for years. Whether or not you agree with Miranda, Oriana has been with her family for years now. Her father can still give her a better life. You don't know what my father wants for her. I know that I've been poor, Miri. I didn't much care for it. He wants to take a girl away from the only family she's ever known. Doesn't that tell you what he really is? I knew Eclipse was willing to get their hands dirty, but kidnapping a kid? I'm not stealing her. I'm rescuing her. Come on, Niket. Let's finish this bitch off and get out of here. Take your best shot. I was just waiting for you to finish getting dressed. Or does Cerberus really let you whore around in that outfit? If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. Don't... Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Uh, I'll tell him that you hid her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. <laughs> Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Even with all your upgrades, you're human just like the rest of us. But I let it get personal and I screwed up. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch... You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part. You can't toss aside everything you care about just to be safe. It's okay, Shepard. My father hurt me, but he didn't break me. As much as he tried to turn me into exactly what he wanted, I'm my own person. Any other old friends your father might use against you? No. I cut ties with everyone else. Anyone I'm close to now works for Cerberus. Or you. My father's powerful, but he won't cross the elusive man. You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of Eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? Uh, 
I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. I'll deal with it. Take pictures. Touch me and I will smear the walls with you, bitch! Enough. Stand down, both of you. The cheerleader won't admit what Cerberus did to me was wrong. It wasn't Cerberus. Not really. But clearly you were a mistake. Screw you! You've got no idea what they put me through. Maybe it's time I showed you. Our mission is too important to let personal feelings get in the way. Fuck your feelings. I just want her dead. You both know what we're up against. Save your anger for the Collectors. I can put aside my differences. Until the mission's over. Sure. I'll do my part. I'd hate to see her die before I get a chance to fillet her myself. You two gonna be okay? It's a good thing you came by when you did. As long as she does her job, we'll be fine. Thanks, Shepard. So, Commander, you figure Miranda would ever lighten up a bit and... <laughs> I, I can't even finish saying it. Commander, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. But I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Brandy goes straight to my head. It's nice to see you let your hair down. Guess I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. What do you think? Everyone's depending on us. We won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Steven. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or... Did she kill somebody already? I have no idea. Just tell me where she is. If you insist, but fair warning, watch yourself around Samara. Justicars have a nasty habit of shooting people. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Is Samara really that dangerous? If you follow the laws, you've got nothing to fear. And a Justicar would die without hesitation to protect the innocent. But their code orders them to stop lawbreakers, with lethal force in most cases. And everyone skirts the law somehow on Ilium. If someone tried to bribe her, she'd be obliged to gun them down as a matter of honor. I'm hoping to avoid that. Tell me about the Justicars. They're a monastic order. They've given up their families and possessions to follow their code. Most of them are on some lifelong mission, but they'll always stop to deal with any injustice they encounter, which can be a problem. In some ways, they're a lot like the Spectres, undertaking personal missions. Spectres are authorized by the Council. Who do Justicars represent? What? That's like, I don't know, a good human metaphor. They represent their code, our code. It's closer to a religious group than a legal branch. No law-abiding Asari would question a Justicar's orders. Nobody becomes a Justicar for personal gain. And they die before breaking their oaths.
Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. The victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off of this world. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. Why do you think it was mercenaries? Dakni Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them, but only in well-lit places, with my guards, and only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal items, and they are all cold-blooded killers. I should go. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. She'll like our mission then. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're letting her into a sealed crime scene? I'm a cop. I'll work with the Justicar all I can. Besides, she's been looking at crime scenes longer than our two lifespans combined. She knows how to handle herself. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. Samara would kill a cop? That doesn't sound very just. She would die defending an honest cop, but she'd fight an army of dirty cops to the death. I admire her dedication, but her presence is still a big problem. I need her gone before I have to carry out my orders. Your superiors are sending you to certain death for no good reason. You have a right to disobey. We can disobey suicidal orders. Why wasn't I told? That's about twice a day. Most of the time, I'm not being stupid about it. I can't say the same for Anaya's superiors. I'm a cop and I know my duty. I've been ordered to detain her and I will. Unless I can get her to leave my district first. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. 
Be careful. The local Eclipse mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. You mentioned a crime scene? A Volus merchant was murdered. It was a professional hit, so we're not dealing with junkies looking for a score. I'm thinking the local Eclipse mercenary band. Can't prove it. But if the Volus was dirty too, maybe it's just a deal gone bad. What do I need to know about these mercenaries? Eclipse mercs are professional killers. They sell red sand, trade illegal weapons tech, and smuggle criminals off-world. They control some back alleys around here. I haven't been able to find their nest yet, though. What do you think of Samara herself? She's been a Justicar longer than three of your lifespans. Whoever she was before she swore that oath, that person is dead. People seem nervous about Samara's presence. Asari admire Justicars, but we also know that they kill without mercy when they find corruption. And Justicars never leave Asari space. Why is she here? I doubt it's to investigate the murder of some corrupt Volas. I have to go. Good luck. We better find Samara before the detective goes after her.